Welcome back, survivors. I know it's been a long time since I've been on the YouTubes, uh, but uh, I'm back with some uh, Battlefield 1 action here. Um, had a chance to check out the, I guess, uh, open beta of Battlefield 1, both for uh, Xbox through, uh, I was going to say Xbox 360, Jesus. Uh, Xbox One and uh, the PC version as well. I actually got a hold of the Xbox One version yesterday um, and downloaded it, checked it out. Super impressed with it. it. It just played so nice. The only problem was um, me and first person shooters, I, I swear to God, I have an Xbox One and I never play the thing. I, it's literally for Netflix. It's terrible. Um, it was the one game where I'm like, man, this is this is going to play pretty nice on here. Uh, and I opted in a long time ago to the uh, the open beta to Battlefield 1 on the Xbox One for one reason and one reason only. Uh, if they're going to try and impress the console fans, they've got to make it right for the beta or else it's just going to turn people off from it. Um, and I think I was right. The Xbox One version is super smooth, flawless. The server is responsive. Uh, my thumbs are probably not as responsive uh, on it as you'll, you'll probably see in these videos. Um, but the, the PC version is plagued uh, by problems. I'm running a uh, currently a GTX 970 on my rig and uh, an Intel uh, i5. It's overclocked, I don't know, 4.3 and change. Uh, it, it should run something like that pretty decently. I know Battlefield 4 had no problems with it. This game, however, my God, 20 frames if I'm lucky. But then there's certain servers where I'm hitting 40 frames and there's other servers where I'm going on it and I've got no gun when I spawn in. There's no freaking gun. I, I don't know what the hell, how the server code's written for this, but how the hell am I supposed to play a first-person shooter I don't have a freaking gun? Well, we made do anyways. Um, so the vehicles worked with the guns. So it was kind of uh, everyone grab a tank or uh, a Jeep or even a horse. Even though I don't think uh, the horses, yeah, they worked with uh, the scimitars or whatever type of sword they had on them. But uh, it was interesting anyways. Um, I'm not going to take it at face value uh, just yet. Uh, I'm not sure if um, there was a DDoS that happened today on the EA servers. Um, some some place, I, th I think it was Poodle Corp. Um, some group took it took it out apparently for some reason. Um, but it came back up, played it. I still don't think it recovered a hundred percent. I played on some European servers. The European servers. <laughs> When you're running a 200 ping on that game, terrible. Wouldn't recommend it. Um, but the game itself does ship with uh, one map. <laughs> it's called uh, Sinai Desert. Uh, so it's kind of a big, huge, giant dust bowl uh, where you just go around and you, you for conquest mode, you have a cap of 100 points. And uh, there's a train that goes up and down. Not sure what the point of the train is. Uh, haven't got that far in depth of the game in. But uh, with the five classes and everything else, everything seems to be very balanced. Um, you're going to be very impressed, I think, with this game. I I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be more popular than Call of Duty. I know we're going to have the Call of Duty, uh, you know, hardcore fans, 360 no scopers. Um, but I I think this holiday season it's going to give Call of Duty a run for its money. Uh, visuals are absolutely stunning. Um, they've done a super awesome job on that. Um, I think. You couldn't get much better. The actual experience feels very true to that of kind of a World War One esque. There's no crazy uh, mechanics. Um, it's really just a raw shooter, uh, which makes the game super awesome. If you guys are looking to download this, uh, or the, the beta is open to everyone, so you can go ahead over to uh, www.battlefield.com. You can sign up for the beta. Uh, by signing up, I think all you have to really do is go download their Origin client, which is kind of their launcher they use. It's kind of like Steam uh, for EA, and just uh, download it. It's about uh, 8 gigs and change, and it's well worth your time. Uh, I haven't tweaked the visuals on it yet. Uh, when I did play the PC game, I should say I'm kind of biased because I was streaming at the time too um, using OBS and I wasn't using my Elgato, um, which will put more of a performance hit on my PC. Um, so I'm going to take a look at it again tomorrow. Um, I'm actually going to hook up the Elgato. I had it hooked up to the Xbox for doing some recording of video um, on the Xbox One itself. I was terrible on the Xbox. 
but I still had a lot of fun. Um, you guys should really go check it out. Um, it's it's worth your time. That's all I gotta say. It's free. You can be the decider if you wanna if you wanna buy it when it comes out for the eighty bucks or whatever it is. Um, but I, I think again, you'll probably want to pick this up. Thank you for joining me again, guys. Um, we'll see y'all soon. Um, I'll try and get something together for a, maybe a how-to video on for some performance tweaks. I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, googling and a little bit of tweaking of see what's uh, in the files that I can tweak around and. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk to you all again soon, and uh, stay tuned.